Also, I just wanted to say, um, I have this little zit right here that I picked at. Don't do that. I picked at it, and so in this whole video, I have this giant red dot on my face, so try not to pay attention to that. Also, the lighting was weird, and it looked like I have something blue on my mouth. I don't, so I don't really know what that was. So just completely ignore what I looked like in those videos and just enjoy the books. So anyway, bye guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul because I did some damage on Prime Day. I got a lot of books. But one but one is a set, so it really only counts as one book. So anyway, um, so let's just jump right into it. If you hear any whining, come here. If you hear any whining or anything, that's my dog Nyx. Um, I need to do an update on her because the last time I did an update she was four months and now she's a year old. And now she's a year old. So I should probably do an update for you guys. But let's jump into the books. I'm so excited for these. Stop. These are getting really big on Book Talk right now and BookTube, so I had to get them. And if any of you guys don't know, I really got into reading this time last year, so I've really only been reading for a year, but it, I'm slowly becoming obsessed. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. So the first book I got is called The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Um, I'm super excited to read this. Uh, and also, I don't really know a lot about these books. I've just heard they're really good, but basically, it's like between life and death, there's a library, and there's this girl who gets caught in this library, and basically every book in there is a different version of her life that she could have lived. And so she gets to like relive, or she gets to go through all these different scenarios of her life. And at the end, does she pick one book to like actually go back and live, I think? It's like with the help of an old friend, she can now undo every decision she regrets. She tries to work out her perfect life, but things aren't always as she imagined they'd be and seeing her choices place the library and herself in extreme danger before time runs out she must answer the ultimate question what is the best way to live so very excited about that it's a short read so should be good the next book oh i'm so excited for this one so this is my killer vacation by tessa bailey um i also ooh, don't look at my nails they're a little bit nick stop <laughs> also don't look at my nails um they're rough. But anyway, My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. Um, I've just heard this is so good. Do I know what it's about? Absolutely not. It's supposed to be a very relaxing vacation, but in sweet sunny Cape Cod, just me and my beloved brother, but discovering a corpse in our rental house really throws a wrench into our tanning schedule. Now a rude, crude bounty hunter has arrived on the back of his motorcycle to catch the killer and refuses to believe I can be helpful. Not to mention a fulfilling teacher career of wrangling second graders. Huh. Oh my god, she's got a chick place sauce. Awesome. Nyx! No, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. I've heard great reviews about this one, so I'm super excited to read this. <laughs> oh, yes, I know you guys have seen this everywhere. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. I don't know. Basically, this girl's life is seemingly perfect until one night when her husband Gabriel returns home late from work and Alicia, the girl, shoots her, shoots him five times in the face and then never speaks another word. And so basically she refuses to talk or give any kind of explanation. And this criminal psychologist is captivated by her story and jumps in at the opportunity to work with her. How good does that sound? I'm super excited, so very excited for that one. Okay, last one in this package. Ooh, yes, the Paris apartment, y'all. I've heard this one's really good. I'm getting into thrillers, if you can't tell. Um, so basically, this one is this girl moves out to Paris to like live with her sister, or live with her brother for a fresh start. She's broken alone, she just left her job under less than ideal circumstances, and so she goes to live with her half-brother, Ben. And then when she gets there, he's missing. And so then she tries to figure out where he is, and she starts meeting all of the, like all the neighbors, and apparently all the neighbors are really suspicious and have their own story, so. Mm, that sounds so good. I'm so excited. Next package. I don't even know what's in this one. I kind of look at open that one just to see what was in there. But this one is a complete surprise. Oh, heck yes. Let's go. I don't like the way they packaged this, but that's okay. You guys, things we never got over. I know you have seen this everywhere on Book Talk. It's a thick one. 
she's thick um like 600 pages but it's by lucy score and i've just heard amazing things about this so i'm just excited to read it this will be maybe a vacation read because this one this one's thick but i've heard a lot of people raving about it so i'm very excited about that more in here oh yes i have no idea what this is about either um it's called terms and conditions and it's a is that focusing i don't know it's a series right like there i think there's three or four maybe in the series i don't know Ooh, the art is kind of cool in it that's really fancy look at that that's chapter one it's got like a little dress it's kind of cute decline oh i guess it's a alternating pov destined to become the next ceo of my family's media empire the only problem my grandfather's inheritance clause fulfilling his dying wish of getting married and having an heir seemed impossible until my assistant volunteers for the job our marriage was supposed to be left perfect supposed stop solution to my biggest problem but the more we act in love for the public the more unsure i feel about our contract caring about iris was never part of the deal is next stop caring about iris was never part of the deal especially not when breaking her heart was inevitable and then iris we plan to marry or my plan to marry declan declan oh, i don't like that name was simple in theory move in together throw our wedding have a baby we set rules to prevent any kind of issues Ones that were never meant to be broken, no matter how much decline or decline tempts me. But what happens when our fake relationship bleeds into a real one? Ooh, that kind of sounds fun. Oh, I hate these packages because they say that they're easy to open, but they're not. Oh my god. Maybe there is a really easy way to open this, and I'm just... Archer's voice. Uh, I've also seen these all over Book Talk. Or this all over book talk and uh, I've heard it's amazing Um, let's see I wanted to lose myself in the small town of Pelion Pelion Maine to forget everything I had left behind the sound of rain the blood the oh, the coldness of a gun against my skin for six months each breath has been a reminder that I survived and my dad didn't I'm almost safe again but the moment I meet Archer Hale my entire world tilts on its axis and never writes itself again interesting well I feel like I'm going to cry at this. That sounded really sad, but you know, who doesn't need a good cry every once in a while? And then lastly, a classic but a, a goodie um, is the Harry Potter series. So I am very bad and I have only read up to like halfway through Goblet of Fire. Um, so I wanted to reread them all again and I've been wanting to buy the series, but I don't know if I want to read like, or buy the classic versions, like the classic covers. Um, like you know, the little diamonds and everything, or if I want to get the newer versions and all this stuff. But then I saw this baby on Amazon and it was like $100. But on Prime Day, it was like 40 So I guess. So anyway, so the front, all the books on the spine is Hogwarts. And then one of the side of the box is the train. The back is Hogsmeade. And this side is Diagon Alley. Okay guys, and I'm so excited, so I'm gonna go through this whole thing, so if you don't wanna see all these book covers, just skip this part. Um, I just gotta like dump them out first. Okay, so first, we got the Sorcerer's Stone, and so the front is Diagon Alley, and the back is this, oh, don't hate me, don't come for me in the comments. It's this mirror where he sees his parents. I don't know the name of it. I'm sure you guys are gonna tell me, but that's that one. Um, so Chamber of Secrets is the flying car and the Weasley house and then obviously the chamber. Okay, moving on. Prisoner of Azkaban is the Patronus where he sees like the little stag and then the back is the Boggarts with Lupin right there. Very cute. Okay. Um, Goblet of Fire is just the Hungarian Horntail. Don't look at my nails. Oh my god. Is a Hungarian Horntail. And then also just the Hungarian horn tail in the, in the back. Or the, or the Phoenix is thick. I did not realize that. Um, is the, oh God, are they thrat, thrashels, thrat? I'm so bad. Basically the animals that you can only see when you witness a death. The thrash, thrattle, whatever they're called. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's that on the front. And then the back is the room of requirements. Cool. Okay, Half-Blood Prince is just Harry and Dumbledore at the cliffs of Moor. And then the, uh, the memories. 
And then last but not least, the Deathly Hallows with all three of them on the Green God's Dragon. And then him and Voldemort at the back. Aren't those so cute? And let me let me tell you, they feel like butter. They feel like velvet. They're so soft. They just make you want to read them. So I will. Um, and then it comes with the cool little box. So anyway, that's an impulse buy, but I wanted to buy them anyway. So that is the end of my book haul. I didn't really get that much considering some people on here buy like a thousand books. Um, I just, I work a full time nine to five and I have a one year old puppy and I do a bunch of other stuff. So I don't get to read as much as I'd like, but you know, you do what you can. I'm going on vacation. So I'm going on like a three day, four night, four night, three day, whatever trip to Savannah, Georgia. And so uh, my boyfriend and I are going, and so I will be reading a lot on that trip. So I'm gonna try to knock out some of these. I think I'm gonna read The Paris Apartment first because that just sounds so good. I think I've been most excited to read that one. So anyway, I have like a blue theme going on here. Like a lot of them are blue. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna try to get better at uploading more. I know a lot of you guys followed me because of my dog, so I will try to post more content of my sweet little dog. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do a one year old pup date or something and I wanna do a day in my life because I just started my big girl job and all that fun stuff. So you guys wanna see her real quick? Hold on, let me show you her. Hi, sweet girl. So this is Nyx. She's kind of a handful. Can you say hi to the vlog? Can you say hi to the vlog? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.